Good morning, YouTube. Truck Diva back on the scene. I just wanted to give my opinion on leasing, on trucking, on companies, stuff like that. I was just talking to my husband and he was just telling me because he's going to trucking school, but he's going to the school where he's paying out of pocket, whereas he's not doing what I did as far as I went to prom to where you enter into a contract to where you got to do a year in order to fulfill the contract to where you don't have to pay uh, close to, I just say round off about $5,000 for that course. But I was talking to him and he had recruiters, you know, that came to his school, which was Trans Am. And they was telling him that, uh, you know, law of regulation states that a student only has to be on a trainer's truck for a minimum of eight days you know, in order to be able to get off the truck and either go company or do lease. And I didn't know that because I don't know if anybody watched my previous videos, but one of my experiences as far as with my training was that I was almost on her truck for close to three months. And it truthfully seemed like I wasn't on there just because of me. I was on there because it seemed like they, she wanted to keep me on there to keep her revenue going. Because you know, obviously, the longer a student is on a trainer's truck, the more money that trainer gets when the student only getting guarantee pay. Like all the miles that we're doing together, she's pretty much getting all those miles in her pocket as a profit. So that's kind of unfair to the student, you know, even though the student needs to be trained, but I feel like they take it an extra mile too far just to make money. So, you know, Trans Am was telling him that that you know the student only have to be on there for a minimum of eight days and also that they don't do co-ed uh, training whereas prime you know if I'm a female they'll place you with a male driver whereas what the trans and people was telling him is that they don't put male and female or female and male is either male male or female female which I feel like that's how it should be because they say that there were situations to where you know people would get pregnant Lowe's wasn't getting delivered on time because you know people smashing they, their, their uh, trainer or smashing their student which is so unprofessional so I don't know I mean Trans Am seemed like a pretty cool company and then they was also saying that night is cool too so I mean I'm really flabbergasted about the 8 day you know Trans Am only keep their students on their truck for 8 days you know if you don't have no problems and here it is, Prime, you know, keeping you on the truck for two months or more. And then if you got a crappy uh, instructor that want to try to lie on you and say that you're not ready, then you might be on the truck for more than that. Shit, it was two girls from my class where I think I got out my off my instructor's truck um, and at the end of February. This is uh, April now. They're just getting off their trainer's truck. All because the, probably the instructor was, I guess, trying to find ways to keep the student on the truck because that's their money. But that's a bunch of bogus to me, you know. And then as lease operator, you know, a lot of these companies try to rip off their students for all these deductions they taking out your settlement. They got the APU deduction. They got operator deduction, access miles deductions. I mean, deductions on top of deductions. By the time you know you get a paycheck, it's cut significantly. And if you're in the slow season, you're pretty much almost making just as much or less as a company driver. So it seems like the best way to do leasing is to finance your truck if you know you, you've got your mind right. And if you really, there's a lot of if factors. So I wouldn't say concretely the best thing to do is to finance. But if you know what you're doing and you got that boss mentality and you've been doing this for a while, I suggest you finance your truck so that way you can cut your your lease your I wouldn't even say lease cut the payments down because my payments a month just for this stupid I mean it's not stupid. Let me let me slow down. My lease payments for it's a nice truck, I ain't gonna front it's nice. For this truck is like a thousand thirty three dollars a week. One thousand thirty three dollars and that's just the lease payment. I ain't talking about all the other deductions that they take out your junk. I'm talking about just the freaking lease payment alone. So pretty much, you know, when you get a payment that large, 
you got to live on this freaking road unless you're smart enough to team up with your spouse, which is the best thing. I wouldn't suggest teaming with a buddy because, I mean, you pretty much, it's not going to work. Either y'all going to argue because he feel like you're making more than him because, obviously, you would have to get more than him because you got more, you know, more stuff that has to come out of your settlement or you got to put towards the truck or you got to save or taxes, this, that, and the third. So I suggest team with your, your spouse because it's all going in the same household. But man, you know, I want to get to where I do my own authority because, you know, on authority, you get to pick your own loads. You don't have to be trying to sweet talk no dispatcher just so you can get a good load. And I also found out, which I already kind of knew, it's not surprising, that when you're a newbie, dispatcher's not going to give you this good paying load. They're going to give you a low according to what they got if the seniorities didn't want it. But the guys that pretty much been here for a longer time and done proved to them or they just, you know, the golden treasure, they're going to get all the nice hot loads. Even though you got your slow season and you got your fast season. Like, I think I'm at the end of the slow season and I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I could be wrong, but I think slow season is from like October to April and the hot season is from like April to July and then so on and so on. So if you're in a slow season as a newbie, it's like you just you just breaking even. Break pretty much breaking even. So Prime's not a bad company, but to me I feel like they just a company that's just for, you know, a stepping stone because if you're trying to advance to the next level to where you're trying to get on your own and do your own thing, that's hard to do that with Prime because you can't pick your own loads. And that suck when you can't pick your own loads. Like, if you see this load paying this much, and you see this load paying this much, when you like the choice to say, no, nah, I want this one instead of this one, instead of having a dispatcher just throwing you what they feel like you deserve because, of course, maybe because of how they like you or don't like you. So, you know, that's just my thoughts. I mean, my whole main thing I'm mad about is that I had to be on a truck with my bullshit ass trainer for that long when the state law only requires state law only requires or matter of fact not state federal regulations only require eight days so prime making money and the instructors making money off of this student being on his truck past those eight days which i think is a bunch of flabbergasted bullshit you know i had to i'm sorry for cussing but i'm mad about that it's like you know i know it's business and everybody out here to get a dollar bill but some of these companies are raping the hell out of these drivers. And y'all can call me a crybaby, big baby. Maybe I'm a big baby because I got my teddy bear. But I'm just speaking what the truth is. Or maybe what my opinion is. And I'm entitled to that. So if you like being raped, then keep letting these companies rape you and keep doing what you're doing. If not, then you got to stay a step above the game. So that's just my thought for the day. You know, you either take it or leave it. It is what it is. You know, time is of the essence. You gotta make the best time of it. Deuces.